giant sequoias whisk in and breathe in CO2 faster, more effectively, and store it quicker than almost any species of tree on Earth. And they might be just the answers that we're looking for to really make a run at and help reverse climate change. All clear. We're here on near the top of the Sierra Nevada range, 80 miles south, southeast of Fresno, California, and we're on private land. It's, it's, it's an intact giant sequoia forest. Oh yeah, I see it. You know, we got it over something, but it's not something we want. That branch, the branch that they're shooting for, is taller than any tree on the east coast of the United States. That's the lower branch. This is just an amazing project. Working with David Malark, we're out here getting some cuttings from some of the world's largest giant sequoia trees and uh, you know, just climbing in an amazingly beautiful place that uh, very few people have visited. Archangel Ancient Trees is locating, propagating the largest, oldest living things on earth, which of course is trees. Well, I'm guessing it's over 250 feet tall and we will try to get to the top. We're not trying to shoot our initial shot to the top. This is the hardest part for the climbers, trying to get that fish line set over a branch that's safe. Oh, you got it. Well, we're going to start out by going and going, checking out some of these lower limbs. We're out here in the sun, see if we can't find some good cuttings. This is the very top here. of the echelon of big tree so, climbing in the world. Ascender, VT. I feel bad for the people who have to go to an office, sit at the same desk every day, shuffle around the same papers. You know, this is the thing. This is our office out here in the trees. Every tree is different. You know, so every day is different. Every job's different. Okay, just a regular walk in the park, going up, rising up. We got. A lot of small dug fur around us. Oh yeah. Look at the size of these lateral limbs. Four or five feet in diameter. It's just amazing. They have an entire genetic history in their DNA of a 4,000 year uninterrupted chain. What we need to do is build super groves. Five acre to 5,000 acres of these groves of trees that do nothing more than offset thousands, in some cases millions of tons, of excess CO2. Oh, here's some. Look at that right there. Stand clear. Incoming. Whoop. The higher you go in these trees, 200 feet to 300 feet, the material just keeps getting better and better because there's different hormones in this material than in the lower branches. If this was a, a parallel to a male, I would say this is an 18 year old. Uh, <laughs> some of this stuff is a 50 year old. We gathered about 700 cuttings from the stag and as well as the waterfall giant sequoia, which are two of the healthiest, largest sequoias on the planet. They are the champions of champions. We're going to take those back to our propagation lab and we're going to take those 750 cuttings of each of these trees. We could turn that into a million trees in about a year for global reforestation every single year. Stand clear. We would like to pick a dozen countries, give those countries the clones of these trees that we just did as models of carbon sequestering groves of super trees, country by country, continent by continent, really make a sincere run at reversing this nemesis we all face called climate change. Oh man, the, the view is awesome, this place is magical. We're, uh, you're hanging about 
85 feet off the ground. Uh, nice to see you up here, Eric. By the way, is this in your job description? Climbing giant sequoia trees? Um, it's not. <laughs> Tossing it right out towards you all. Okay. Coming down. <laughs> that was good. That's a little excitement. <laughs>